Hey y'all, I've got baby sleeping. So I'm working on our table legs today. Um, these are five inch and they're spun. We got them on Amazon. So I've got the first coat on a few of them. This is actually flat black paint. So this is coat one. I'll probably do two or three coats. By the time they're finished, you won't be able to see any of the wood grain, but I wanted to show you how I do them. So these came um, with a little bit of dust on them and they've been sitting around for a couple of months. So I have a damp microfiber towel and I'm just gonna go in all the little grooves and take out any of the dust that's settled. That way the paint can go on nice and easy. I won't have to let these dry too much because um, the towel isn't very wet. The other thing is normally we would want to keep the wood, wood, because it's beautiful. And it always drives me crazy when people paint over perfectly good wood. But the reason that we chose to paint these black, not only is we, we like how the finished table looks with black legs and then a wooden top, but these were spun using different kinds of wood. And from the reviews that we saw online, it looks like when they glue the pieces together, they didn't use a glue that is stain friendly. So it actually showed like here, it showed the seam line. Um, you could see where there was glue. So the glue wouldn't stain and it looked almost fractured. And we didn't really like that look, but we loved uh, the detail of these table legs. So we're, we decided to paint them and I'm using, I'll show you just a sec. So I've got a little can that I have that sitting on that it allows me to spin the table leg as I'm painting. And I'm gonna use the Rust-Oleum um, Ultra Cover. It's the flat black. When you paint it on, you can see, oh, here, let me help you out. You can see it's kind of blue. So I'm gonna go to the first spot where there is an indentation and whatever, whatever amount of paint you need, decrease that by half. You wanna prevent having a bunch of spills going down the leg. So I'm gonna go and work in that first groove and get as much paint in there as I can. I'll smooth it out after I've got it covered. See, I got a little bit on my hand. You don't want that. And I'm working kind of fast because this paint dries pretty quick. So I don't want a bunch of brush strokes, but I do want to make sure that I've got enough paint in that groove. So now that I do, I'm gonna go from the top and then have those two places meet and I can smooth out that line. It's hard for you to see this now. Work from the top add a little paint and then smooth how straight that looks. That'll remove all of the brush strokes. Hi baby. My daughter came down to check it out. Then you can go back through and soften that. All right, so that is covered. Now that I've got that spot covered, I'm gonna go to the next groove underneath, which is this one, and fill that the same way.
Okay, back down in this groove. see you've got a high concentration of paint there. So you'll just go back up and blend that into the top. Okay, it's been two hours. This is nice and dry. Um, so we're going to do a second coat. I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did on the first coat, which is go into that first section where it dips in and get it nice and saturated. This second coat will drip a little bit more than the first coat because the paint isn't being absorbed. So keep that in mind when you are loading your paintbrush so that you aren't dripping all over the place. I just got a little drip right there. All right. So that's covered all over the top. And bring it down. And then pull everything up. Once we get this coat on, we'll see if we need to do more. Probably do one more, would be my guess. So three coats total. It says to let the paint dry for two to four hours. So I'll probably let the second coat dry the full four hours or maybe even overnight, just so that I know that it's nice and dry. The first coat soaked in quite a bit to the paint because we didn't use a primer. So um, the second coat is not going to soak in as much. So I'll probably let it dry that full four hours. Again, it goes on blue and then it dries black. The best tip that I can give you if you're interested in painting your own table legs is to not overload the brush with paint. You wanna do everything that you can to avoid any drips. You can always go back and do a little touch up if you didn't have enough paint in some areas, but it's a lot harder to remove those drip marks once it's dry. So you can see when I'm painting the leg, I continue to turn it and then use some of the paint that I already have before I reload the brush. Here's a look at the finished tabletop. We're actually gonna be redoing this room completely. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll get notifications for when those videos are up. We are doing a brick wall and I've got a really cool farm sign that we're gonna be hanging with a sconce light. So you definitely wanna check it out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment below letting me know what you like best. Thanks, see you soon.